Masako Awada's journey from a diplomat's daughter to the Empress of Japan is a tale of extraordinary transformation, filled with triumphs, challenges, and a lifestyle that can only be described as insane. Born on December 9, 1963 in Tokyo, Masako was the eldest daughter of Hisashi Awada, a prominent diplomat, and Yumiko Egashira. Her father served as a judge on the International Court of Justice from 2003 until June 7, 2018, and was president of the court from 2009 to 2012. From her earliest years, Masako's life was marked by a unique blend of cultures and experiences that would shape her future. At just two years old, Masako attended a Russian kindergarten in Moscow while her father worked at the Japanese embassy. This early exposure to foreign cultures continued when the family moved to New York City three years later. Here, young Masako attended local schools. Returning to Japan, Masako enrolled in the prestigious Futaba Gakuen, a private Roman Catholic girls' school in Den and Chofu, Tokyo. It was here that her exceptional talents truly began to flourish. She excelled in academics, learned to play the piano and tennis, and even developed a strong interest in animals, nurturing dreams of becoming a veterinarian. Her linguistic prowess grew as she studied French and German, adding to her already fluent Japanese and English. Masako's leadership skills also emerged as she revived the school's softball team. In 1979, Masako's family moved once again, this time to Belmont, Massachusetts. At Belmont High School, she continued to shine academically and socially. Her Achievements included becoming president of the National Honor Society and participating in the school's maths team and French club. This period in America further honed her English skills and deepened her understanding of Western culture. Masako's academic journey reached new heights when she entered Harvard College. Here, she chaired the Japan Society and volunteered as a cultural ambassador, bridging the gap between Japanese and American students. Her dedication to her studies paid off when she graduated magna cum laude with a degree in economics in 1985. After graduating, graduation, Masako returned to Japan, ready to start a promising career in diplomacy. She spent six months studying law at the University of Tokyo to prepare for the notoriously difficult diplomatic service examination. Her hard work paid off when she passed the exam, becoming one of only three women among 28 successful candidates that year. Masako's career at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs was marked by rapid success. She was assigned to the Second International Organizations Division, where she dealt with environmental affairs committees. In her free time, she even attended cook classes, preparing herself for the possibility of entertaining foreign guests in the future. In 1988, Masako's career took another exciting turn when she was chosen for a two-year, fully funded, postgraduate study abroad program. She enrolled at Balliol College, Oxford, to study international relations. This experience further broadened her global perspective and refined her diplomatic skills. During this time of professional growth, Masako's life took an unexpected turn. In November 1986, at a tea party for Infanta Elena of Spain, she met Crown Prince Naruhito. The prince was immediately captivated by Masako's beauty, intelligence, and poise. However, their courtship was far from straightforward. Initially, Masako was reluctant to pursue a relationship with the prince. She was focused on her burgeoning career and cautious of the constraints that royal life would impose. The media's relentless pursuit of the potential couple in 1987 only added to her hesitation. Moreover, a controversy surrounding her maternal grandfather's involvement with the Chiso Corporation, implicated in the Minamata disease scandal, further complicated matters. Despite these obstacles, Crown Prince Naruhito remained persistent in his pursuit. Even when Masako left for Oxford, his interest did not wane. He proposed multiple times, but Masako continued to hesitate, torn between her personal ambitions and the prospect of royal duty. On December 9, 1992, Masako finally accepted Naruhito's proposal. The prince had argued that being Crown Princess would be another form of diplomacy, appealing to Masako's sense of duty and her diplomatic skills. Their engagement was officially announced on January 19, 1993, followed by an engagement ceremony on April 12, 1993. The wedding of Crown Prince Naruhito and Masako Awada on June 9, 1993 was a spectacular affair that captured the nation's attention. Masako, now bearing the title Her Imperial Highness the Crown Princess of Japan, entered a world of unimaginable luxury and rigid tradition. Life as a Crown Princess was a stark departure from Masako's previous experiences. She was assigned a personal emblem, a stylized iris flower, and took her place in the imperial order of precedence. Her wardrobe transformed from the practical suits of a diplomat to exquisite kimonos and western-style gowns adorned with priceless jewels. The Imperial Palace in Tokyo, a sprawling complex of 680,000 square meters, became Masako's new home. Its perfectly manicured gardens, historic buildings, and labyrinthine corridors were a far cry from her childhood homes in New York and 
Moscow. Every aspect of her daily life was now governed by centuries-old protocols and traditions. Masako's schedule became filled with official duties and ceremonial events. She accompanied Crown Prince Naruhito on foreign visits, including trips to Saudi Arabia, Oman, Qatar, and Bahrain in 1994, and Kuwait, the United Arab Emirates, and Jordan in 1995. These visits allowed Masako to utilize her diplomatic skills and language abilities as she conversed fluently with foreign dignitaries. However, the transition to royal life was not without its challenges. The pressure to produce a male heir, crucial for the continuation of the world's oldest hereditary monarchy, weighed heavily on Masako. In December 1999, the Imperial Household Agency announced her first pregnancy, only to report a miscarriage shortly after. This personal tragedy became a matter of national concern, intensifying the scrutiny on the crown princess. The birth of Princess Aiko on December 1st, 2001, brought joy to the couple and the nation. However, it also reignited debates about Japan's male-only succession law. The pressure on Masako to produce a male heir did not subside, and the strain began to show. In 2004, Masako was diagnosed with adjustment disorder, forcing her to withdraw from many public duties. This period marked the beginning of her struggle with mental health issues, which would persist for years. The speculated causes of her condition included the immense pressure to produce a male heir, the challenges of adjusting to life in the imperial family, and negative media coverage. Throughout this difficult time, Crown Prince Naruhito stood by his wife. In a rare public statement in 2004, he defended Masako, suggesting that there were forces within the imperial household agency that were stifling her personality and career. This unprecedented move highlighted the tension between the couple's modern outlook and the conservative traditions of the imperial institution. The succession crisis reached its peak in 2005 when a government panel recommended changing the imperial household law to allow female succession. Prime Minister Junichiro Koizumi even pledged to submit a bill to this effect. However, these plans were shelved when Prince Hisahito, son of Prince Akishino, Naruhito's younger brother, was born in 2006, providing a male heir to the throne. Despite the easing of succession pressures, Masako's health struggles continued. She made only occasional public appearances between 2004 and 2014. In 2008, Crown Prince Naruhito made another public appeal for understanding regarding his wife's condition. Four years later, in 2012, Masako herself issued a statement expressing gratitude for the public support and acknowledging her ongoing treatment. On May 1, 2019, a new era began for Masako as she became Empress of Japan following the abdication of Emperor Akihito. The enthronement ceremony on October 22, 2019, marked a significant moment in Japanese history, with Masako standing beside her husband as he ascended to the chrysanthemum throne. As Empress, Masako's life reached new heights of luxury and responsibility. Her wardrobe, already impressive as crown princess, expanded to include even more exquisite pieces. She gained access to the imperial family's collection of jewelry, including tiaras and necklaces that have been passed down through generations. Each piece is not just an adornment but a symbol of Japan's rich history and the continuity of the imperial line. The imperial palace, always a beacon of luxury, became even more accommodating to its new empress. Masako's living quarters, while maintaining traditional Japanese aesthetics, were updated with modern comforts. The palace kitchens, capable of preparing everything from simple Japanese dishes to elaborate French cuisine, catered to both official banquets and private family meals. Masako's daily routine as empress is a carefully orchestrated affair. A staff of hundreds, including ladies-in-waiting, chefs, and various attendants, ensure that every aspect of her life runs smoothly. Her schedule is meticulously planned, with every minute accounted for, balancing official duties, personal time, and health management. Travel for the imperial couple is an exercise in luxury and precision. When venturing outside the palace, they use a fleet of custom-made Toyota Century Royal limousines, each valued at over $500,000. For longer journeys, they have access to private jets and trains, ensuring their comfort and security at all times. Despite the opulence, Masako's role as empress comes with immense responsibilities. She is expected to be a symbol of Japan's cultural heritage while also representing the nation on the global stage. Her first official duties as empress included meeting with the U.S. President and First Lady in 2019. In September 2022, Masako and Emperor Naruhito traveled to the United Kingdom to attend the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II, marking their first overseas trip as emperor and empress. This was followed by their first state visit to Indonesia in June 2023. The couple's commitment to their people was evident in March 2024 when they visited areas affected by the Noto earthquake. This hands-on approach to supporting destroyed areas has endeared them to the Japanese public. In June 2024, 
the imperial couple went on a state visit to the United Kingdom originally planned for 2020 but postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The rescheduled visit went ahead despite concerns of postponement due to the British general election campaign that began in late May. It was the first state visit in modern times to take place during an active election campaign. Throughout her journey from diplomat to empress, Masako has accumulated numerous honors and titles. She holds several foreign honors, including the Grand Decoration of Honor in Gold, with sash for services to the Republic of Austria, and the Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of the Republic of Hungary. She also serves as the Honorary President of the Japanese Red Cross Society. The Empress's proficiency in multiple languages continues to be an asset in her royal duties. She is fluent in Japanese, English, French, and German, with conversational abilities in Spanish and Russian. This linguistic versatility allows her to connect directly with foreign dignitaries and to represent Japan eloquently on the world stage. What do you think of the life of Princess Masako? Share your thoughts in the comments below.